I have a friend of mine who is really into fashion. She just moved into an apartment on the Upper East Side. And she wants me to build her something that's fashion inspired. Now, I don't know anything about fashion. So I do have a friend who I met on Twitter. She's the editor-in-chief of Gotham Magazine and Hamptons Magazine here in the city, Samantha Yanks. And she knows everything about fashion. So I talked her into coming out and meeting with me and showing me some fashions here in the city. From there, I can hopefully get inspired to make something, I don't know what, um, and, uh, and hopefully I can get some ideas to build something for my friend. It's 12.96. Ah, thank you. Right. How are you doing? How are you? Good. I'm a layman. You gotta, you gotta explain things to me in just the easiest of terms. You're not a layman, but this is really easy. We're just gonna go through the racks, okay. pick out some great things, sort of get you into the know of what's going on, you know, in fashion today. Ah, but first. But first. I tweet. First you tweet. Oh, this is great. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> This is what's in. Like, this is it on the, um, what the, uh, f is it called? <laughs> Runways. It is Run on, yeah. So we've got one girl who's like a bit more of a biker chick. And then we have our other girl who's a bit sort of romantic, a little bit more girly. And then we have our sort of fashion forward girl who really wants to be on trend. And on trend right now just means fur, fur, lots of fur, fur and leather. We've got all of it. How about we go to one more store and take one more, just, you know, I've already, my, again, my head is spinning from this, but just one more to really hammer it home and see if I can find some more Let's stuff. Let's do it. Who needs, anybody need a Tic Tac? Anybody pay him? We are on Christopher and Waverly at this beautiful shop. It's like a little hidden gem. It's called Diana Broussard. What is this little number right here? You know. What could I make out of that? That's like, okay, so leather. And fur, that, that's Which kind of the... We keep. That's, I think again, that's our connecting element so that's, of the day. That's what I'm learning is that the, at least the trend for now is, is fur or faux fur and some leather, sort of leather. Some sort of leather. That's and what like, we've yeah. seen a lot of today. Now, what I think we should do is I'm going to go home. I'm going to, you know, do my thing and try to figure out what I'm going to do. Talk to my friend, see what kind of style she wants. And then I'll, I'll uh, you know, once I start building it, you can either come over and help me build it or... When we, if it's after, I can after be there we stall. For the installation. Yeah, exactly. I'm very excited. Sound like a plan? Yeah, totally. Thanks for doing this with me. Thank you. Well, when I got home, I went through all the pictures I took and thought about everything I saw, and I kept thinking, fur, fur, fur. Then it hit me. Hey, Christina, it's Brian. What about a, uh, a headboard? I was thinking of using. Um, Faux fur, so let me know, bye. Well, she totally dug the idea, but now where do I get faux fur? Where else? The fashion district. So I made my way into the foreign land, got the fabric, came home, and then it was time for my favorite part. Off to the lumber yard. You know, it's funny, my therapist tells me, Brian, find your happy place. Let's go get some wood. Well, can you guess where that is? Yes. Cold. The lumber yard. Ready? <gasps> All right, Making this headboard is pretty straightforward. We start with a piece of three quarter inch thick plywood that I cut to be about an inch wider than her actual bed. And the height, I, I just kind of went with what looked good. I made it about two feet higher than where her mattress is. We're gonna glue down this faux fur here with spray adhesive. Then I'm gonna just trim out the whole thing in solid wood. Five quarter inch thick pine and three quarter inch thick poplar. 
By the way, you don't have to use solid wood. You can use MDF, medium density fiberboard, which is a little bit cheaper. I just prefer solid wood. It's going to be sanded and painted black anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, back to the show. This way, I'll have a nice little reveal. See that right there? It's a nice little shadow line. From there, we put on a cap piece, like that. To cover the edges of the plywood, we use a little return here, which is just a, a miter cut. We'll trim off the edge just like that. No. How am I supposed to do this? Glue's dry, both Matt and I are sufficiently high and quite freezing. So I think we can close the garage door now. Think so? Okay. Yeah. Well, there it is, the finished frame. Now, you're probably wondering how I attach those horizontal and vertical pieces right there. It's with pocket screws. You use this jig right here. Drill the holes using the drill bit they provide with a little stop collar there. Automatically drills a hole and a pilot hole. See right there? Add some glue. Clamp it up with that little clamp they provide. And screw it in with these special self-tapping pan head pocket screws. Draws it right in together and is locked in forever. Now all I have to do is prime it, paint it, and uh, screw it on from the back. Now the big question is, will it fit in the car? And will it even fit in the elevator in her apartment? Crap. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 I'm not done. I <laughs> um, hi, thank you. So we did finally fit the headboard into the car. We're on the way to Christine's apartment. We hope it's gonna fit in her apartment. Samantha could not make it, so she won't be here. That's all right. Uh, there's a lot of snow on the ground. We've been trying to get here, but there's been like five snowstorms. So finally, we'll be able to get it in. Hopefully, get it up the stairs. Did I pay the Easy Pass bill? Let's see. What was it? 2G? What was it? 2... 2... 3G? Close. 2H. The hardest part of the whole damn thing. F, right? Oh, there it is. Clip it. Hey, it's Brian. Hey. Go to the, go to the left. Okay, thanks. <laughs> How are you? Got a little headboard for you. And so maybe we'll bring it into the um, lobby and then to an old park, or whatever, and then we'll just. Yeah, Found a parking space. Sweet. So we're talking quietly because we're in the hallway of the apartment because we can't get in, it's too small to do this inside. So I'm gonna show you out here. Um, we're gonna hold this to the wall with something called a French cleat. This will be mounted to the wall like 
that, then the headboard will sit in there and hang off the wall. That way you can easily remove it or you can shift it from side to side to center it. It's a really versatile way to do this, especially because she's renting this apartment. She's not going to stay here forever, so we don't want to do too much damage to the wall by mounting this. All right, so what we're going to do is measure from the floor 44 and a half. Measure up there. Bottom. So I'm going to roughly center this. We can slide the headboard, you know, along the length of this. So I'll just roughly kind of eyeball this. Just a mark. Yep. Make another mark over here. Oh, see how tough it is? Yeah. So all I'm going to do is take this little plastic anchor here, pop it in the hole, like that. Then, That is tight. There it is. Should we try it? Think so? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> okay, so what was our plan? I'm gonna lift up this way. Installed. I love it. I have you to. You picked out the fabric. It, it inspires me now. I'm going to start, you know, decorating the room around this headboard. This is my focal point now. So it's very chic, very fashion forward. <laughs> and the headboards, you know, whatever goes on in here will stay against the wall. I think she's pretty happy. I think she liked it. Didn't she like it? Yeah. Time to drink a beer. Yeah, just time to drink a beer. What time is it? Is it it's is 11. I think it all came together. Samantha really came through with helping me, you know, with the fashion end of things. Christine really liked the headboard. It went in easy. It was like maybe, I mean, the fabric was $100. The wood was $100. So for $200 to have a custom headboard, it's pretty good, I think. So on to the next one. Onward and upward. Ah, mwah. See, my camera, unlike your fancy one, I can check my email whilst I am, see, we're recording there. So if I want to check my email, oh, not a problem. Let's go uh, right there, oh. Band, band practice, I do some work there. I owe them some money, I owe them some money. I owe them some money. They owe me money. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.